What's going on? It's yours. Truly just say it with me. They call me Miss Telefero. How's everybody doing out there? I like putting things out in the atmosphere. I like let you guys get to know me as I make these videos that you also love. I don't know how much you know about Miss Telefero, but uh, I don't come from money. To be real with you, I don't got money as I make this video. Most of the money that I make from YouTube, I invested right back into my business for cameras and equipment, this beautiful green screen behind me, all that good stuff. I ain't come from money. Uh, I come from a hardworking family. My mom works her behind off. I'm trying to retire her as I make this video. My dad worked for like 35 years straight. He's a hard worker, but we ain't never had money. I said all that to say, Back when I was in the seventh or eighth grade, all right, somebody sold me an iPod. Y'all remember the big white iPods that you could put like 80 gigs of space on? Yeah, back in the day, 80 gigs was like, you know what I mean? If you had 80 gigs, you was lit out in these streets on the iPod. I Somebody gifted me an iPod. I bring all that up to say three of the first artists that I used to listen to on my iPod that were outside of Memphis were Gucci Man. Walk a flock of flame. This is around the salute me or shoot me era. And OJ the juice man. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey! Y'all don't remember OJ the juice man. You shouldn't be listening to my platform. This ain't for you. OJ the juice man, I say for about a two and a half year stretch, was lit in these streets. Music going crazy. Had the real life story to back up the music. Lit for OJ the Juice, man. It feels like he just kind of went blank on us out of nowhere. Haven't heard a lot of, from OJ over the years. Also, it didn't help that Gucci was dealing with legal situations back to back to back. Also, Gucci was dealing with a lot of mental issues that he's admitted to. A lot of drug uses, which I'm sure didn't help any relationship around Gucci, man. When he's admitting that he's on drugs and other people dealing with their own stuff. So we just kind of lost OJ the Juice, man. He kind of got lost in the sauce. No pun intended. With that being said, back in 2017, for the first time in years, I saw OJ the Juice, man, in an interview with one of my homies. I got love for this one right here. Lala of the Progress Report did an interview with, with OJ the Juice, man. And for the first time, we heard OJ speak on the relationship or lack thereof with Gucci. Um... So now speak on um, your thoughts on Gucci Man. Would y'all ever be able to make more music in the future, like a collab project, and just get back to those old days of how you know stuff used to be with the music? Oh uh, yeah, I, I feel me and bro can do that. You know, bro, right now, J, bro on a mission, man. Bro trying to get that bad, man. Right. Bro when to did old three P motherfucker, right, man. Right. And I mean, I respect the game, man. You know it. Man, they gotta have that bad, man. They got mm -hmm. family, bills, and they can't. Shit real. Got them, nah, you can't play around, man. So, mm -hmm. for folk that be asking, like, man, what, you and Gucci, you know, nah, yeah, we still cool with you. I'm not finna book, bro. You for feel sure. me? Like, bro, I'm did a three piece, so you need to get every dollar that's entitled to him. Baby, I ain't that's gonna right. never deny, bro. Me and bro done been through some shit way before niggas, mm -hmm. like, you feel me? So, I mean, me and bro, we're going to always be on that turn. Even if y'all don't see us right now, right. the lad, like, damn, he been out this man. I ain't seen. Nah, bro, going to do him. I'm going to do me. And then when we get, when when the time come, you know, what they call it, a uh, perfect time and right. it's key, you know what I'm saying? We're going gonna to make that shit work. You always respect the niggas that get on camera no matter what they done been through. They still show nothing but love to the person that helped put them in the game. And... You seen in that interview with La La, and by the way, please check out the Progress Report YouTube. I'm going to have their link in my comment box below. Check out the Progress Report for that full interview. It's a good one. Over 250,000 views. It's a really good interview. Watch the whole 33 minutes of my girl La La and the Progress Report. It's a great interview with OJ. Yeah, you hear OJ say nothing but great things about Gucci in spite of whatever could have happened behind the scenes. He ain't going to talk bad about his man. That's not what real niggas do. Now, for the first time in a while, and Gucci rarely does this, you, we saw Gucci on Instagram yesterday post about OJ the Juice Man. This is so out of Gucci's character. His situation or how he does things with people, once the relationship has ran its course, whether there's bad energy there or not, you don't really see Gucci speak on things publicly. But Gucci posted a throwback picture of him and OJ the Juice Man. It's big gut Gucci. And now you see Gucci glowed up. It looks like they didn't linked up recently. Uh, both of them look way better than what they looked 10 years ago. The caption just simply read 2009 to 2019 loyalty OJ 100. 
I love seeing that because I, I would love to see these two do some type of music. Look, it ain't going to light up the charts. Yeah, we ain't got no more make the trap say A's in us. But I would love to see them get on a record together just for nostalgia purposes. Because, again, look at Gucci saying 2009. It's already 2020 pretty much. That's over 10 years ago that that music was killing the streets between them two artists. And it feels like just yesterday. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box below. Gucci Man acknowledges OJ the Juice Man and the loyalty that homie showed him. And I'm pretty sure Gucci didn't watch that progress report interview with my girl, Lala. And I'm sure it warmed Gucci heart to see that there's one person in the game. Gucci didn't have issues with his family, his mother specifically. I'm sure he's happy to see his one person in the game that didn't flip on him no matter what. You know, he fell out with Waka and all that. But it looks like him and OJ still 100 with each other. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. And Waka, we would love to see Gucci and Waka link up as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think about a Gucci and OJ collab in 2019 heading into 2020. Also, if you have not done so, make sure you're following yours truly on Instagram. Christmas giveaway is on the way. You want to make sure you're tuned into my platform. I'm about to give away some stuff, all right? I ain't got Gucci or OJ, the Juice Man money, but we're going give, to give back to the people that support me throughout the year. Follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Telefero, for more details on Santa Ferro. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.